Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Okay, okay, I'll stop singing now. I was just having a moment of nostalgia, remembering the baseball games that I watched as a kid. Are you familiar with baseball? While sports like American football and basketball are more popular nowadays, baseball has a long history as America's number one pastime. Because of the importance of baseball in our history and culture, we have many expressions that come directly from the game. So in this video, I'm going to teach you baseball idioms. But before we get to that, I want to remind you to watch till the end of the lesson. You'll find a bonus assignment there so you can learn some more baseball idioms. And while you're at it, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon, like this video and share it with your friends. Now back to our lesson. To understand the expressions I'm going to teach you, it's helpful to know a little bit about how baseball is played. Maybe you're familiar with cricket. It has some similarities. Baseball is played with a wooden or aluminum bat in a small hard ball. Like most ball games, there are two teams. The team on the defense pitches the ball to the player on the offense. The pitcher attempts to throw the ball so the batter is unable to hit it. Very basically, the batter has three chances to hit the ball. Every missed opportunity is called a strike. If he misses all three, he has three strikes and his turn is over. It's a strikeout. Now the goal in baseball is to hit the ball and touch each of the four bases to score. The batter tries to first hit the ball and then hit it as far away as possible so he can move around as many bases as possible and also help his teammates score too. If he can go around all four bases in just one turn, it's called a home run. This is one of the best possible outcomes and very exciting when it happens. There's more to the game, but that should help you understand some of the expressions that come from the game. Now let me ask you a question. Are you learning English to be more successful at work? If so, you'll find many of these baseball idioms used in the business world. Now here are five baseball idioms you're likely to hear at work. Number one, touch base. This means to be in contact or communication with someone. For example, by phone or email or text or some other form that you can communicate with each other. Now here's a very common sample sentence. Let's touch base on Friday. Now that means we will contact each other in some form on Friday. Number two, drop the ball. This means to not do something you were supposed to have done. Here's an example. I'm so sorry I didn't get that report to you this morning. I really dropped the ball on that one. Number three, strikes against someone. This means that you have failed, or lost an opportunity, or you have a disadvantage. Here's a work-related example. Joe can't screw up again. He already has two strikes against him. First, he came in late three days last week, and then he missed the deadline on the report. What's important to know here is when you have two strikes against you, it's very serious because you only have one more opportunity to succeed. When you have three strikes, you are out. Game over. Number four, ballpark figure or ballpark estimate. 
This means to give a rough estimate. Now rough here means very approximate, not specific or detailed, just a quick total number. For example, how much do you think the new roof will cost? Can you give me a ballpark figure? By the way, the word figure here is used to mean number. And number five, hit a home run, means to be very successful. I really hit a home run with my new book. It sold 10,000 copies in the first month. Now I'm going to give you a few more idioms in sample sentences. Try to guess their meaning. I was really caught off base with that one. We need to cover all our bases. They threw us a curveball. It's time to step up to the plate. You're playing in the big leagues now. Once you've thought about these a bit, Look in the comments section for the meanings. And if you haven't seen a live baseball game, I recommend you try it. It's more than just a game. There's people watching, chants, food, and so much more. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video.